All right, PvP in here, double it is promised. We take you back to what's been going on in the AD Invitational. As a reminder, here is the second round of the PvP in. This is the lads and the thunder from down under B B L A N Z. Yeah, emu, 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 oi, oi, oi. You know, that only seems to work for the goblins of all things. The other teams seem to be having a bit of a trouble with that, aren't they? Well, let's see what goes on on match day number four. Yeah, you might not be wrong with that one there, Lord Baxter. You might not be wrong. All right, thank you, Constable. Oh, God, it's Williams again. Oh, we're fucked, aren't we? Most unethical referee in the entire league. Must be borrowed from the ICBBL. All right, what have we got here today? Yes, it is the BBPN's Battalions. Well, you saw what happened the last lot. Can it go any worse? Shut up. <laughs> Well, let's see what he's brought in there. Oh, God, he's brought Numfar. I mean, Dorfar. There's another nickname for it. Anyone who's ever played the Battalions has another nickname for him. Numfar. Because he is. Well, it is very sunny, so it is going to limit the passing game somewhat. Who knows? He has a wizard. He's got re -rails. He's got a bit of cash there for the wife. Of course, unfortunately, he's gotten Williams. And meanwhile, over here, you see, it is the Dark Elves. The Dark Elves... They had a rough go of it the last game. Their things went a bit wrong for them there. But they're helping to get things shaken back up this game here. And as you can see here, they do have an impressive amount of skills here. He is coming in here with the two, you know, fine body calendar girls here. Now both got a blodge here. He's got a couple of the blodges over there. Yeah, and the dirty, filthy peasants. Yes, absolutely dirty, filthy peasants. He's got one right there. I can tell. He's got extra mock on him there. All right, here we go. There's the kick. Well, someone can go and get the joyce. And there was much rejoicing. Might need to refresh your feed there. All right, let's get it going here. Ball lands. He's got it. Easy peasy, handling squeezy. Double skulls. Well, we saw how that started things off last game there. There's a quick push. And immediately the first reroll is gone. Yeah, here we go. Dark Elves. Calm and precise on this drive here. They have seen some, you know, do it great done here. Now, do you remember, you know, there is a fireball or a lightning bolt waiting for you there, just in case. We also hold that got used there in the game with the orcs versus the goblins there. But we'll see what kind of wizard he's got recruited. Meanwhile, Numfire takes the pain right in the nads. Goodbye. Hey, phrasing. Well, what was he standing there for? Right in the open. Of course he kicks him in the nads there. Because Numfar, well, he's a numb nut. He doesn't have dodge. He doesn't have block. So guess what happens to him? Bye-bye. And he's gone for a while. So much for that 150k. Oh, well. Bit of a punch there. Nothing else going on. And that is it for turn one for the Dark Elves. And where from their view, they have achieved the objective. Numfar is off the field. All right, can the Batojans tear this one around here? They're already down a player there by bad positioning, but you know what? They can get a dirty peasant in here to do a bit of fouling, asking for a friend. Maybe we can get something to happen here. Oh, picks on the loner, yeah. yeah he's there just for the kick. Well, the problem is Numfar can actually do a few things. Numfar took a KO because he's just standing right there. All right, so he got removed. There's the wrestle, down he goes. There's a reason why a lot of his coaches call him Numfar. He, he, he basically fails everything on once. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's an easy kick. That's easy. Ah, come on, Constable. He didn't even hurt him. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> See, at least Williams is susceptible to a bribe. And then he merely scores this one up. Of course he does. Da, da, da. Sigh. Uh, that was a bad turn there for Bretonians. They're now only now out of player here. They got, they've got they used the bribe for no effect and, of course, have scolded out. 
And here they come, Dark Elves. Easy offense here, down the sidelines. Says the cloud of dust, I mean peasant flying. And yep, they're going to tear the quarter right quick on this one here. Yep, they are seeing a numbers advantage so far here. They can keep Numbnuts off, it's even better for them. Now remember, Numbnuts also has, you know, a couple of other good skills, including kick off, return, pass, block, and of course, Hail Mary Pass, which is actually a useful skill. Yeah, oh, I hate to admit it, most most pretending coaches would say, you lose Numbfar, Dumbfar. I know it's Dolfar, but we all just call him Numbfar, because he's such a dolt. Because he always, anything but a wood, what do you think he rolls the most of? You got it, woods. Yeah, basically. Yeah, you can tell by the cloud of mud, shite, and everything else. Are we going for another cheeky foul here? Asking for a friend, really. Are we going for another foul here? We just want to know. Well, he is humoring the whole idea of having a screen. It's not a bad idea. Maybe it will. Oh, 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 he's changed his mind. He has changed his mind. He has moved away. It's unfortunate. You know, why can you have done this block first, then fouled him at plus three? Maybe more's the case, maybe. See, if this was your plan for your blitz, peels it away. Well, now you could have fouled it, oh, I don't know, plus five with Dirty Player. What are the odds? I'm just saying, lad. Now you get a foul with him. Get over here! Really? You know, I'll take that. I will indeed take that. I will take that. And yes, burns the apothecary out. Ah, oh, come on, Constable. Ah, see, this is why I hate fucking Williams. I absolutely hate Williams. And there's the ejection immediately. Twice in a row, it's an ejection. Bloody hell. Alright, well, for the Dark Elves, that is a bit of an advantage. Of course, bright side is, it is a P on there, it's got no skills. So it is a bright side. Oh dear, she has to re-roll that one there. Does get the second hit though. Of course, to power on the blodger. Down he goes flying. Dark Elves, comfortable position right now. They do have a two-player advantage. Okay, granted, it's only a one-player. He is going to get better, unfortunately. Someone forgot to taint his blood. Or his apothecary there. Well, as you can see here, the Dark Elves from the last game did take such crippling hurt that down to two loners. So it's not exactly the most pleasant of situations for them here. So they are going to fight hard for the win. Bretonians over the side here. Big solid hit. Well, he'll, he'll do that. That'll do. That'll do. Then he turns the corner and goes right back to guarding things. All right. Risks a couple of GFIs. He does have three rerolls. This is not exactly the greatest of screens here, but you know what? Maybe. It's like the Praetorians are just trying to... Another one? Get over here! You know, you're, you're quite a bit of fouling mood, aren't you, today? Crap! Yeah, well, it didn't work. And the Peon. Now, remember, Peon is AG2. Makes the dodge. Who is this fine strapping lad? Hell yeah! He's made a mockery of that one there. Yeah, the PLs have made a complete mockery. We know nothing, Jon Snow. We know nothing. All right, well, the Dark Elves suddenly have got themselves a game. Push me, push you here. Oh, yeah, she comes, Calder Girl. But remember, this does not work. Ah, she got smart. She turns the other cheek. Yeah, she's flapping those cheeks there. Like I said, that is a very loose brassiere she's wearing back there. And the other cheeks are flapping too while we're at it. Cheeky hand off there. Does get away with it there. And there she goes. She is off. She is running. Are we going for the score? Come on. Come on. Oh, stop saying. Stop it. Overtime. Oh, God, we don't need that. What a picture. Fails to dodge, makes it on the reroll easy peasy. And he's got everything screened here. Well, he's going to force the Bretonians to be pissed off. And like I said, the Bretonians have, funny enough, made a game out of this one here. So have the Dark Elves. It is a fight. Yes, we. Oh, yeah, okay. Someone's watching a different game than me, clearly. Alright, comes charging back here. Let's go pick on a loner. Can we do what's supposed to happen to loners here? 
Apparently not. Fuck you, Nuffle. He's supposed to die at his job. He's got one job. So far, though, no gerbils on the field. Marks up with the peon. Why? Reasons. Ah, the peons are doing a great... Yep, they're doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, they really are having a great laugh at this one here, and they take another one out. God, he's bringing everything in here, and he makes all the GFIs again. So far, the Bretonians have been dynamite with GFIs. Well, let's just push on the dodge, but that's fine. That was basically the plan there. And he makes his own dodge here. Comes charging in. Yeah, he's basically meaning, yeah, you're going to have to score or I kill you. Looking for double ones, of course, there. She does have dodge. Solid block on block. Dark Elf is going for greed blocks on this play. And here she comes, Calder Girl. Two dice, only a push. Remember, Fend stops Frenzy dead in its tracks. So much for that idea, but she comes running in there. Makes life a little bit more miserable. She's going to give him warm hugs. 44 double D hugs. It's a hell of a way to die, isn't it? Makes the easy dodge, and there is the score. Well done. 1-0 for the Dark Elves. You can hear those Dark Elf supporters. Oh, they're having a crazy time in the stands there. They do celebrate and celebrate well there. Nicely done, lad. Nicely done. Considering what happened to the last game, remember, he did get a little cocky and then everything went completely wrong. All right, let's take a look at the Bretonians there. Hey, look, Numfar is back on the field. Yay. You can just sell dripping from my voice how much love and enthusiasm I have for this twat whistle. Dolphar Log Stride. Yes, he's a Wood Elf who will indeed play for the Bretonians there. Comes with the following skills. And they are a rather interesting set of skills there. Diving catch, Hail Mary pass, he's got kick, he's got kick off return and pass block. Is he worth the 150k? I think he is, but he's also a pain in the fucking ass, isn't he? See, here he goes. Ball's deep. Problem is, Dolphin is in completely the wrong spot. And everyone goes and gets a reroll. Yay! See, if Dolphin was actually in the receiving position, 1, 2, 3, well, he'd be closer to it. Because that's his job. Yep, numbskull, numbfar, dolfar is back. Yay. Yeah, you can steal defeat from the draws of victory. Don't you jinx it, lad. Don't you jinx it. It's my job to jinx it. You see the cast. I'm the one paid to jinx it. I mean, bless it. Ble piss off, Nuffle. All right. And here comes the wall of peel death. Yes, that is a good word for you. Well, he's actually a real player there. If you want to foul him, you can get away with it there. It is dirty player. Gets the block. Loners continue to survive. This is not fair. Absolutely not fair here. What is wrong with him? Complaining to Commissioner here. These are completely broken loners. And there goes Dolphar. Why? Reasons. All right. Time to go and get his balls back. He's got it. Well done. Well done. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Uh, maybe the coach cares a little to turn five. Yeah, here it comes. Come on. Come on, lad. Do it for the kids. Did he get him? Takayo! Oh, yeah. That's what we wanted to see, lads. That was what we wanted to see. See, quality football as far as Constable Williams. 
I, I don't think he's actually finished counting the money for the previous bribe, so I think he's a little distracted at the moment there. All right, Dark Elves back on the defense here. They're going to have to fight back. Now, admittedly, they've got two KOs here. Get over here! They have made a complete mockery of this one here. Yeah, this could be a complete disaster right now. Dark Elves are going to have to move this ball up and quick here. Dark Elves, yes! Definitely a bit of hyper aggression here being showed by the Dark Elves here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players left on the field by the Dark Elves here. It is 11 on 9. However, it'd be a bit of a question here. You know, who's got more skills? Dark Elves do have an interesting concentration of them, don't they? Well, it's going to be up to this fine strapping, jumping Weircaster here. He's going to have to take care of his fellow dingoes there. He's going to have to send him to Wallamaloo. What was that? Wapaloo Maloo. There's Adolf. Well done there. Surprise, motherfucker. And he indeed is on the move. Let's see if he can actually do something there. And Numfar, well, he's got one job. Die, pretty much, apparently. He's about to become an expensive block toy. Maybe not. Yeah, wibbly wobbly. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, we'd really like you to get rid of another real player here. But the Diddy player is a little busy here. Push me, push you. Yes, let's put him into Numfar. Because that's his job. Comes charging in. He'd like to get rid of a calendar girl. Yeah, pushes her, pushes her around. Right in the double Ds, and well, she goes. Oh, I guess you should have. Take my advice, pal. Quit while you're ahead. Yes, yeah, should have. That's one too many GFIs. He's finally failed one, and he's found the gerbil at last. Notice, not many rerolls have been used. Only the one on the double skull for the first roll of the game. That was about the only reroll. That's only the second one used. That's the kind of game it's been so far, lads. Good use of the guard here. Now he can make a complete mockery of this. Into the peon he goes. Down he goes, flying. Yes, it's called Whoppeter. That's how well they hit back. Oh, dear. This is a bit of extra aggression here. Yeah, he has been paying attention to the cast there. Well done, lad. This is going to be a problem. And here he comes. All risk, all business. Gert, it's only a block. Because here at Globo Gym, we're better than you. And we know it. That's what he thinks. Maybe he's right. Who knows? He's got nothing else to lose besides his life here. I remember he does have two loners here. It is going in, going full fury. He has seen a better Dark Elf coach, unfortunately. But maybe he's learned some lessons. All right, Vatonians. Well, this is a bit of a problem. And of course, he's double skulls it up. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? Oh, God. Really? Really? Yeah. Makes you sad. Does indeed. Double skulls it up. You can see what he was trying to do. It goes completely wrong. Mind you, the opponent then immediately returns the favor with a double skull himself there. And he's down. Help! Help! I'm being repressed! Clearly, he's being repressed, and now suddenly, yeah, this is what he wanted here. Frenzy clears him out, goes for the second hit, does get him. Ball's gonna go flying, and Bob's your uncle. That is a good bounce there. If you're the Dark Elves, they can easily retrieve this one. Meanwhile, another peon goes flying, and he's gone. My spidey sense is tingling. Yeah, that's what he said indeed is tingling there. It is indeed tingling. It's about to go all wrong. Oh, well, he's gone. Hey, everybody, we're all going to get late. Don't you wish? All right, well, turn eight. Can the Bretonians actually score? Guess what? It's Numfar is the one who's going to have to score it. He's the only one who's got the movement and the AG to actually score this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two GFIs. He can do it. Does the Bretonian coach see it? Solid punch there by the peon. There we go. Big attack here. Again with the one die. Gets a skull. Well, there goes the cheeky reroll there. Gets only a push out of it there. And it's a horrible bounce. Moves to a different position here. Two more dice here from the peon. Makes you wonder where this was earlier. 
Push me, push you. All right, you've got one play. One. You're going to have to dodge it, lad. He makes the dodge. Gets the ball. There's the throw. Good lord. It's an inaccurate throw, but it's on target. Run, run, run. That's easy. He's done it. Numfar the Brilliant has done it. What a surprise tear that one was. Tie score, 1-2-1. One, one. This halftime, of course, is being brought to you by Play Dwarf Magazine. Latest issue came out this week here, and they also paid the extra rent there. Amazonian beauties, check it out, Play Dwarf Magazine. All right, the Bretonians have had a bit enough of hype on that one there. They are happy, though. God, look at the stands, all those bloody lizards. All right, what have we got today? It is now 1-1. Bretonians still have the wizard in hand here. Here it comes. There's the kick. What we got today? And Numfar runs away from the ball. Why? Oh, well, anyone can go and get the ball there. And there was much rejoicing. All right, we'll see. We will absolutely see if he actually does his job. Okay, let's see if he actually catches the ball. Coming out of the rafters, two cracks and a four. Does he get it? Yes, he does. The Blodger has the ball here. That is probably his idea. He does want the Blodger to have the ball because there's no tackle over here. All right, Petonian's on the move here. They do have a play advantage here. The KO has stayed out there. Do you remember that is the unfair ejection by Constable Williams? Oh, Numfar. Really, what are you going to do? You did one thing right. One. And then you ran away from the ball. But this is his plan. He's going to take the blodge and do a minical. That's not a minical, lad. There goes a reroll right there. But the peon does a great job there. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Ooh, mortality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. It's a shame it costs you a reroll to do that, lad. But there you go. The peons are trying to do their job. Oh, you're thinking of another foul. This is the player you want to foul up. Uh, yep, he sees it. He sees it. There we go. Hey, would you like to meet me cleats? Oh, I just had them polished. Is he dead? Come on. <sighs> you left your cleats off? Crap. You idiot. Well, that's the chance the Dark Elves actually need there. And here they come. Yeah, he's got a plan, and he's going to go with it there. In step one, it's getting rid of Numfar. Yeah, he's going to hit him hard. He's armor seven. He actually survives, though. Time for a true display of skill. However, remember, this was the problem last time. You know, absolutely stacking the cage up and just making him bleed. All right, here we go. Petonian's back on the move here. They do need to clean this mess up, and I do mean clean. Clean up aisle three. Peon comes rushing in, does succeed this time there, nails the blodger, and he got him. Your pain shall be legendary. Yes, he did, he got him. Oh, shut up, Colbert. What do you do? You know nothing. Chaining there, a bit more pushing here. Here comes Numfar. He's back on his way. Oh, he's just going to wait on the cage. Yeah, realizes he can't do that. He's actually got a couple of blocks to throw. You know, it would have been a nice thing if he got rid of him first and then run in and fouled this lad. Just saying. I'm maybe I'm just over here for the fouling there because that is his one job. Jumpy Wearcaster. He is your wallaby of doom on this team. Yeah, look that one up. Solid hit there. You do not, you Bretonians. Lies. Stinking lies. Oh, what one die? Good lord! You must have promised them free turnips! They're doing a great job! Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! Unbelievable here. Yeah. Well, Dark Elves find themselves having a problem trying to stop this one here. They might have blood, but they also have fall down. Alright, well, the Dark Elves have changed strategy here. They figured this is clouded up here, but they've got to stop trying to get 
rid of the forward attackers here. Oh dear, well, looks like safe and turf is the plan here. And of course, dodges away, does make it. Only a double one fails that dodge. And boy, is she ever nubile. Ask me, sister. Oh, talking about that one. Tonight, we hunt. That was what you wanted to see. That was exactly is what you wanted to see. Yep, soothe your wounds, lad. That was a bad day. Double one. Bretonians, can you take advantage of this one? Well, they're going to try. They are certainly going to try. And they're going to start off with chain pushing here. Solid it. Okay. If you can make more of a mockery of this, you do need to start removing more of these players here. Oh dear, solid other punch here. Moves a couple of players around here. Doesn't get a break. He's fine with that for now. What's he doing there? Oh god, here comes Numfar. Bretonians being a bit cautious. Is this a good idea with two Frenzy players? That is a good question here. It might work out. I guess it's all going to come down to here. Alright, here we go. Solid it. Knocks another one flying. Does get him. Alright. Okay, it's time to see. Has he found his cleats? Does he get him? Right in the nads. How's he feeling? Oh, God. It's only a stun. Really? Crap! Yeah, no fanfare for you. You don't deserve it. Oh, here we go. And the drive is on here again here. Dark Elves still trying to figure out a way to stop this one here. A lot of leaping back up here. The fight on 10 11 continues here. Alright, well he is peeling some players away. But Bretonians do need to actually move up to here. They do need to clear past this point here. Uh oh. I think... This is going to be a bad day. Well, yeah, you can see the gamble he's going with here. It is crazy. It is so crazy, it actually works. Gets the chain push he wants. Parks a player in there. Well done. And he even makes the dodge out. A game indeed from this lad here. The Anzacs are making it business. Ball carrier actually has to take a swing here just to clear the bastard out here. Oh god, you're gonna trust Numfar. Are you sure that's wise? The answer's usually no, but you know, I've been wrong already once this game. Ask me why, if I'm wrong all the bloody time. Peon moving it into Ele yeah, not an Elder Receiver. Who you fooling, lad? Oh well, push mate, push you. Shoves him out of the way here. Uh oh, there's another double skulls. That was a bit do. Solid block. He'd love to get another kick. Well, stun. You'll live with that for now, yeah? Ooh, you suck. Oh, maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. All right. Yeah, here we go. Can't make up his mind. He really can't make up his mind there. And now it's Numfar. Numfar actually gets him. He got him. And his name is Panda. There we go! There's the foul! Does he actually get him? Boo! Ooh, you suck! Cosmo Williams! Oh, come on! Yeah, no, he's had enough of this rot there. He does eject the rifle player. He does catch that one as it has to be there. There we go. Time for the Dark Elves now. It's swung the other way here. It's now a 10 on 10. Without a removal, sadly, on that one there. And now life is about to get bloody horrible. Yep, he's going to try and stuck in here. Gets the fend, gets the push away here. Dark Elves are putting up a hell resistance. That ejection is huge at this point here because it does change the numbers. Solid 10 on 10. And now here we go, Dark Elves. Can they change it here? He got him. I will look for you. I will find you. I will kill you. Apparently. Well, at least he's KO'd him there. That's made him really sad here today. And uh, now the Bretonians have a problem. They're now suddenly, in the space of one turn, down a player. From being up, they're now down. Numfar is throwing blocks. This is what it's turned into. Oh, 
Well, well, he is now looking at surfing. Is this, this is a good idea. Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't here, but this is looking pretty dangerous at this point here. Yes, peons though. They continue doing a great job. I broke your stupid crap, moron. They are doing an absolutely dynamite job. He just wishes he, they could actually kill something. And there's another one. He got him! He got him! I hope you die from hugs! Killer hugs for everyone! Yeah, well, the, the peon has done his job. And then, of course, he blows it. <laughs> 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 yeah, he just turned things around and he got one block greedy on a blodger. One block greedy. You realize that was a one in three chance of failing, only a one in six of succeeding. Not your smartest day. And now life is about to get bloody miserable because guess what he's figured out? He can make your life misery and he's going to do exactly that. Oh dear. Oh well, I don't care if you got fence. You've got crowd surf, and he's gone. I'm surrounded by idiots. Well, they're only peons. I can only expect so much of them there. One block greedy has cost them. And it's now going all wrong here. The Retogians are completely trapped on the sideline here. Turn 14. The fireball finally comes out. And does about two thirds or four fifths a fuck all. One player knocked down. Well, at least he knocks him down there. How the blood sucked Protestant hell did you do that? Fuck you, that's how. Yeah, well, he's trying his desperate to get back into this game here. Peon, two dice, double one in nines. How could this happen? I tell you exactly how that can happen there. It's all going wrong. And now the disaster is complete. Dark Elves, they're going to take care of business now here. Solid punch, knocks him down. It's going to go for the easy blitz there. Good boy, sweetheart. It's one die. It's all he needs. He is gone. Into the crowd. Oh, my God. Uh, who called the cops? Yeah, the cops have definitely been called on this one here. Ball is going to go flying free. And, oh, good Lord, it's a Dark Elf ball. 100%. His numb far is at the wrong spot again. Dark Elves, easy football retrieval service on its way here. Makes the first GFI. And makes the second GFI. Well, it's all on numb far. It's all on him. We're fucked. Yeah, everyone's dodging away from him here. This has become pretty bloody easy. Makes the first GFI. Is he going to risk the second one? Yes, he does. Well done. Makes another one there. And off we go. Yeah, he's going to risk it. Maybe, maybe not. All right, Peon. Has to do the bloody mirror. Cool. The horror. The horror. Yeah, he's just going to take the stun. He's just going to take it. Why? He's got no choice. He's out of rerolls. Sigh. So, it's all gone wrong, lads. It's all gone wrong. But solid play there on the defense there by the Dark Elves. They saw the opportunity there. As we said, one one greedy block has done all this. Does get the ball on the pickup there, and he's on his way there. Does he have it? Maybe. Not yet. Yeah, this game has turned real bad, real quick here already here. And now we've got another solid hit. He's gone. It's over 9,000! Yeah, it's going way over 9,000 here already here. And now the peon here. He's going to take a solid hit. He goes flying. The mud is flown. It is gone. And guess what? Nubfar, your crowd awaits. Really? Wrestle? He lives? You bastard. Oh, God. Shaky foul. Retaliation. Here we go. Does he get him? Nothing. You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. A choir boy. Yeah, indeed. But there it is. The final score. 
And it is two to one. Well, they're going to be celebrating that one there. There was a complete collapse on that drive. Final result is a 2-1 to there. VBLANZ, he kept it up there. Seemed to be in a bit of a position there, but he kept his color. He kept his cool there and finds a way to get a win. 2-1, to Bretonians. Like I said, it was just one block too many. You made it a bad time, and it led to a complete collapse. Just like in the other game, as we saw today, sometimes it's just one play too many, and the whole game tumbles from there. Well, that is it for tonight there. Thank you all for watching, and as always, Nuffle, bless your dice.